Hello YouTube, um, I thought it was about time for me to enter some sort of a makeup contest. So this is my Halloween look. Um, this is not what I'm going to be for Halloween, but I found um, a really cool idea inside of my head that would involve very easy things that you would find around the house or in your makeup collection already. There's only one thing, which is white setting powder that you probably wouldn't already have setting around unless, you know, you've already gotten your Halloween makeup. But this look is very simple, but it's a really cool idea in my opinion. Um, the look is a escaped victim of Voldemort. So if you like Harry Potter, this should be your thing. Um, we're basically just going to create a look that's washed out. Um, someone looks like they've been kind of tortured a little bit, a little bit crazy. Um, it's kind of hard to tell, but I have white setting powder on my face already. But I'm going to go ahead and show you. This is using um, Bloody Mary White Heat. You can use it wet or dry, and I got it from Hot Topic. And I'm just applying it with a cotton ball and dabbing it all over my face. Now, this doesn't have to be even because, well... I'm pretty sure that if you got tortured by Voldemort, your skin tone wouldn't be even. So we don't want to look like a clown, we just want to look washed out. So you can, you know, do big clumps of it. And then places where it's not so much. So, the next thing that we are going to do, or more so, I can't do right now because I don't have glue, but I'm going to put false eyelashes on, and then we're going to start doing really fun stuff. So, I'm going to take a normal eyeliner stick, just like you'd have black eyeliner, plain and simple, and I'm going to line my eyes, but I'm going to smudge the crap out of them. So, on the upper and lower, and remember, this does not have to be a perfect line at all. Isn't it easier when you don't have to worry about making normal straight lines? And then we're just going to smudge it. Maybe it looks like you've been crying. Maybe it looks like you got beaten up. If you want to make it look like you have a black eye, that's cool too. This is smudger on the other end, by the way. I'm not retarded. Okay, so now we have something that it's not finished at all yet, so don't freak out on me. My palette is in this door right here. Guys, so. The next thing we're going to do is make some wounds, which is the funnest thing to do. This is my one of my palettes from Wales. It's about pretty much the same thing as Beauty's Factory. And I'm just going to use a sponge applicator for this. But there is a blush in here that is red. There's this one and the one next to it. And you can choose which one you want to do based on the intensity that you want. I'm going to pick a spot. I'm going to do it right here. You guys can do it pretty much anywhere you want. Unless it's like somewhere weird like, I mean I guess you could do it over your mouth, but you know. And at first, it's just going to look like a big circle. Like, you do look like a clown. But, just kind of blend it in with the white setting powder you have. And then we're going to take this cotton ball. We're not going to get any more white setting powder, but we're just going to lightly cover it. And it's going to look kind of like you've pinched your cheek. That's all we're looking for. We're not looking for anything abrasive right now. And then, there are all these eyeshadows up here. That was actually a blush, but there's all these eyeshadows up here. And I'm going to take this purple one right here. You see it? It's like a royal purple, pretty bright. And I'm going to just dab a little bit into, not a lot, as you can see, that's all you need, into where that is at. And use the exact same technique, blending it into the red, dabbing it with the white. We are creating, I know it's very difficult to see, but just trust me on this one. We are creating a sort of bruised, like someone slapped you, someone hit you look. You can do more than one of these, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. If you want to make them different intensities, that's really cool too. So let's do one right up here. See, this is going to be a little bit darker, 
but you can also make it look like blood, which I think is really cool. Because you don't have to go out and spend a lot of money on fake blood. You can just do that. So that looks perfectly like you've been bleeding and if you've ever had something bleed, even if it's just the slightest bit and you don't tend to it and it dries or whatnot, it's going to look like that. But the cool thing about doing this stuff with normal makeup is that you don't have to worry about spending a whole lot of money on just Halloween makeup. Okay, so now that we have a couple of those, we're going to move on to a black eye. I'm going to take my sponge applicator and pick a blue, probably like a royal blue or a navy, and I'm going to pat it around one of my eyes so it just looks like you have a bunch of blue eyeshadow everywhere. See, Halloween doesn't have to be anything fancy. But we're going to use the same technique with the cotton ball. Kind of blend it into the skin, all around the eye. And now we're going to get the same purple that we used for the red spots. And do it in all over the blue. And if you don't blend it in, this is actually going to look like crap because it's going to look like you just put a bunch of eyeshadow on. We don't want it to look like that. But, if you get it blended in enough, it's going to look very believable. See? So, so last but not least, if you want to do I mean, be creative if you want to do scars, if you want to do scratches. If you want to do scratches, um, a cool thing to do would be just like to take an eyeliner brush and get, you know, like an orangish red or something. Now draw the scratch where you want it, blend it in. Use the same technique. I really like the technique with the cotton ball because it helps a lot. Ah. And for the lips, this is fun. I'm going to take a plain clear lip gloss. If you remember correctly, the white setting powder can be used wet or dry. As well as, if you are smart, you also have Mika Bella, which can be made into lip gloss. Either way, we are going to create white lip gloss. Nothing humongous, just a little bit of white tinted lip gloss to make your lips look washed out and dry. And just dab it on. We're not going for pretty here. Ah. So with the fake eyelashes put on, with, I mean, if you want to, like, go all out and try to make it look like, you know, put a little bit of the, the clay-looking stuff that's, like, skin-colored over your eyebrows, make it look like they've been singed off or something, you want to create some burns, you just use the same technique. This was all with normal at home eyeshadow eyeliner you know the only thing that was different was the white setting powder but you can do this all at home with stuff that you already have you don't have to go shopping for more stuff so that's why I think this is an awesome look and it's unique not everyone's gonna dress up as someone who's been tortured by Voldemort so I look like crap now but Halloween it's awesome so I'm gonna go now but this was my contest entry thanks